We're heading into November and we're taking a deeper dive into the lower chakras, the energy blasts, the solar flares, the activity that's been happening is a reflection on us. It is showing us that we need to really create the space for this light that is pouring in to land within our body. That means activating more DNA, releasing dense energy that's been holding our atoms and our molecules vibrating at a lower rate. That keeps our frequency low and that basically uh, keeps us experiencing life as solely being identified as the human being. November is going to be a time for us to really start to expand that, to tap back into your multidimensional energy, to your multidimensional self, your higher self, your guides, and start to free up that energy from the lower chakras, get it up into the heart space, up through your central channel, so that you can really start to light up your divine nature. We're seeing a lot of collective chaos right now. And again, that goes back to being the reflection of the stuck energy. The energy that that the planet's been holding is being released. Doesn't feel very good during the month of November. You may come up with bouts of anxiety and fear and those types of emotions, they're going to surface, but know that that is because of the light that is present, the light that is coming in. It's literally landing, striking the energy striking the DNA that's been frozen or been vibrating at a very slow rate and freeing it up. And as that happens, more of your multidimensional self comes online, new knowing, new memories, awareness of parallel realities, parallel versions of you start to come forward. You may not know it at first, but you're going to start to have lucid, vivid dreams. These dreams are really you traveling through the astral realm, shifting focus into versions of you in other realities. These dreams could also be used to translate certain dense emotions that your subconscious is really bringing forward and making it known to you. So when you awake in the morning and you're going about your day, you may come across a memory, something in your reality, an event might trigger a memory of a dream. It's important to try to let that memory come forward and feel the corresponding emotions that are happening within. The solar energy, my Pleiadian guide showed me just this morning, Um, craft almost turned and angled and creating a mirror, creating a mirror, almost like reflecting this energy back onto the planet in a very intense way. We're going through the cycle of deep, deep shadow healing and clearing again, reflected in the collective. Now it's important to not let what's happening in the collective draw your energy. When you start to focus into that and you start to identify with the emotions and the feelings that are coming up within you and you become those, you lower your vibration. You start to feel heavier, identify more as human, and that separates you from your multidimensional self. So she relayed the message to me. I'm relaying it to you that it's important to create the space and observe what's happening and feel everything that is coming up within She showed me this reflection, these disks shining the light, focusing the light on the planet. And we are at the ground level. We are the ground crew that is to observe everything that's happening and focus our light as this energy comes through us with an intent, focus it into the collective, focus it on what's happening and bring love forward that allows this energy to alchemize. It's a very contagious thing. Others will pick up on that light that you are that you are emanating, and they will have an opportunity to really tap into that light within themselves. So even though things look very chaotic, it is an incredible opportunity for heart space healing. Okay, so we work through the lower chakras, we get into the heart space, we start to tap in to our multidimensional self. Remember the heart space portal, I've talked about it in several videos in the past. We want to honor that. We want to get into that. If you haven't downloaded my heart chakra meditation, make sure you do so and sit with that if you can daily, if not at a minimum, a few times a week, focus into the heart space, allow that energetic field to expand because as that multidimensional energy comes through your heart space, it lights up the right part of your brain, that creative force, okay? And it creates circuitry. It like fires it up and creates circuitry between the right brain and the left brain. And if You've been egocentric or ego-minded for most of your life. That left brain analytical piece has really been running the show. 
we light up the right side, connect with the heart, light up the right side, and it starts to create new neural connections between the two hemispheres of the brain. And you start operating from a new perspective. You start operating from your higher self. That's what we call soul integration and embodiment. We're going through, we're gathering all these fragments of our, of our soul, of our energy. It's been fragmented like a pr light through a prism, right? As we land into this density, we're gathering all of those aspects up. We're bringing it into coherence within our body, the heart, the brain starts to communicate with each other. The body no longer gets mixed signals. So if you're feeling aches and pains, lower back stuff, things like that, I've been hearing a lot about, that is really because of this stuck energy. We work through this. We get present daily. We ground. We breathe. We release this stuck energy, gets up, gets alchemized by the heart space, more clarity up into the brain. The circuitry gets built. We're able to sustain a higher vibration, which means we can attract more of our higher self. And as that happens, our cells no longer get an incoherent signal from the brain, right? Because the signal when you're operating from your ego comes from a perspective of limiting beliefs and that limits your ability to heal. And the cells don't get a coherent signal. Your, your immune system, your nervous system doesn't know how to function. It's constantly in a state of fight or flight. When we can get heart centered, and allow that energy through and build that circuitry in the brain, we get coherent. And now our cells start to get coherent signals from the brain. And the signals are of a higher frequency. They remember how to work. This innate healing that they've that they've had within them, this power has been forgotten. They've been detached from it ourselves, kind of running around, not knowing where to go. We reestablish coherence energy flow, high frequency energy flow. And all of a sudden the cells start to work in harmony together. They remember that they have the ability to be efficient, to take in nutrients, to eliminate waste and to repair and regenerate. So it's a very powerful opportunity. We think a lot of times that we have to be this high excited state all the time, but realistically when we're down and we're in the darkness and we're sitting with that and we're we're honoring that and bringing light to that, bringing these aspects, trauma versions of us back in. That's when the power, have, the magic happens, the power happens. We reconnect with our power and our light gets in under that and starts to push all that stuff up. That's why we experience these triggers and these heavy emotions. It comes up into our awareness. We get in under that. We get into the heart space and we breathe with that and we honor that. It starts to lessen. It starts to lighten we become more coherent and the cells, the signal that they get from the brain, the nervous system, the immune system all starts to work in harmony and in coherence. So let's take this month of November to really dive in and honor the shadows as they come forward, love into them, know that you're building strength, you're building coherence and you're anchoring, you're embodying your higher self and that layer between you and your higher self is getting thin. It's going to start to rise up. It's going to start to get up here because that energy is moving from the lower chakras on up. So daily, make it a practice. Stay hydrated. Ground. Meditate. Use my heart chakra meditation there. I've got other chakra meditations as well. Um, root chakra, sacral chakra. Use those. Solar plexus chakra meditations are on this channel. Uh, in a playlist. So make sure you honor this time and honor this space. And whatever comes up when you're seeing this chaos in the collective, honor those emotions. These are versions of you that are stepping back into your light. We want to cultivate that light, cultivate that space and, and honor these versions of us to step into the light. Huge opportunity for advancement in your ascension process, huge opportunity to rise in frequency and reconnect with your multidimensional guides, your higher self, and your gifts. If this video resonated, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and click that like button. Drop a comment below if you are feeling what I am saying, if it resonates with you. Thank you so much.